Hi, hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, so I was talking about the design of the various OFTM blocks. Uh, but in this video, I want to talk about OFTM grid or resource grid. Uh, I thought this is the right uh, time to introduce this particular concept. Uh, so I want to talk about various terminologies related to OFTM symbols, slot, and subcarriers, uh, so that it will be helpful for me to talk about various other advanced topics like uh, multi-user, multi-user MIMO, uh, channel estimation, and things like that. So in case of OFDM, um, you know the entire bandwidth is divided into subbands, right? Each of these subbands are called as uh, subcarriers. So we were placing these subcarriers, uh, uh, we were mapping these subcarriers at each and every block, and uh, uh, we drew the uh, spectrum as shown like this. At uh, serial to parallel converter block, this is how the uh, spectrum look like. Uh, so this is the first subcarrier, second, third, fourth. This is how it was mapped. Uh, you know, starting with f is equal to zero. Uh, later on after zero padding uh, the frequency spectrum looked like this and, uh, and finally you know after frequency shift uh, the entire spectrum was uh, placed uh, you know at f is equal to zero as the center especially uh, in this uh, slot this is the one which is called as a resource grid or ofdm grid as per uh, the 3gpp spec okay so let us uh, draw this in an alternate way uh, which will be uh, mentioned as per 3gpp spec so now the subcarrier mapping or subcarrier locations are placed in the y axis whereas in the x axis uh, time or ofdm uh, symbols are mentioned so this is how you know subcarrier mappings are done in the y axis mm, this corresponds to first subcarrier second subcarrier third subcarrier and things like that and uh, uh, this this subcarriers are transmitted uh, you know after multiplexing these are transmitted for a duration of uh, t symbol duration which is 1 by delta f delta f is nothing but subcarrier spacing okay so which means that you know this entire thing uh, constitute one ofdm symbol this uh, should not be confused with the one complex quantity uh, which we usually call it as one iq or in our single carrier system we we call it as uh, uh, you know one symbol or one sample okay i hope uh, this difference is very clear one ofdm symbol in fact you know uh, this one particular iq will be assigned to one subcarrier like that uh, if there are uh, n subcarriers uh, n such iqs are allocated to n subcarriers and and all these subcarriers are multiplexed or added together and it will be transmitted uh, in one shot uh, as a one ofdm symbol okay so i want to just write it in a different way uh, in a rectangular box uh, as per tgpp so this is corresponding to one ofdm symbol like that uh, the second ofdm symbol and uh, and uh, last ofdm symbol uh, uh, you know are stacked like this so this is how exactly the the uh, you know OFDM grid is shown in case of TGPP spec. This is the picture taken from the TGPP spec, uh, uh, you know 36 to 11 14.2 version. Um, that is the reference uh, uh, for this picture, and uh, this is the resource grid. Okay. So here, uh, what is shown is uh, seven OFDM symbols. So the uh, x-axis represents the OFDM symbol. If you see, there are seven, and uh, and uh, there are some other terminologies which i wanted to explain that is with respect to resource mapping resource uh, sorry resource element each block you know corresponds to uh, one particular uh, resource element and uh, this block corresponds this one particular square box corresponds to one subcarrier and one ofdm symbol okay so like that uh, you know if if uh, there are uh, 12 subcarriers and in the x axis if there are seven ofdm symbol that is called as one resource block in case of 4g but if you want to just talk in terms of subcarriers so you know you know 12 subcarrier would constitute one rb okay such a kind of block whatever is shown what such a kind of grid whatever is shown will constitute one particular slot in case of 4g uh, the definitions are slightly different in case of 5g uh, but the concept is very similar um, so i hope uh, this ofdm grid concept or uh, the resource grid concept is very clear one more thing what i want to mention is each of these subcarriers okay are also known as since th these are also known as resource element uh, you know whatever uh, the mapping at uh, serial to parallel converter we are doing uh, it is also called as subcarrier mapping or it is also called as uh, resource element mapping or in our uh, general terms it is called as uh, re mapping thank you very much have a great day Please subscribe. That increases my motivation to bring in much more concepts. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.